Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to another mighty video. My name is Marcelo, and you already know that I am mighty. I'm as mighty as it gets today. I am wearing the Dalden glasses, the, the Dalden shades, because I, I really think I deserve them. As you can see from the thumbnail, and, and as you can see from my PL right there, today I'm finishing up just over $3,000 on the day. Um, and you know, it's quite early. I've only been trading for two hours. Making three thousand dollars in just in two hours is definitely, you know, it's definitely something you can't do in any other career here. Well, I guess in, I guess you can in some, but none, none in most. Um, anybody new that's out there? My name is Marcelo, and I am a full-time day trader. I, you know, I, I day trade stocks for a living, and I specialize in scalping small cap momentum stocks. Okay, if you're new to my videos, the way the way we we party around here is that I'm going to do a recap first. Then I'm going to show you the live trades because I truly believe that if you guys want to learn, me sharing some live trades is the way to go. Um, and then at the end, I can do a little bit of a Q&A session for anybody that's catching me live. And if you're watching this as a recording, it's fine as well. Please leave a like um, for anybody that's watching, whether if you're live or, or in a recording form, please leave a like. It really goes a long way. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. I answer to 100% all my comments. Why am I wearing my shades? You may ask. Well, I have a large, I have a, I have a large array of glasses. I have, you know, goofy glasses, um, serious glasses, and I got spicy glasses. Whenever I have, whenever I have a nice green day, I, you know, I take them out, take them out, uh, remove some, remove the dust from them, and rock them. Um, also, because I'm wearing, you know, I just started using a, what's this called, a ring light, so that so my green screen looks a little better, and that blinds the crap out of me. Ah! So I'm gonna be using it for a little bit here, but anyways, um, any anybody tuning in live, that hey guys, please leave a like, um, and uh, let's get in, let's get on here with the recap. So, please. So let's see. My biggest winner today is on ticker symbol TMBR. Okay, TMBR was one of the leading gappers today um, that was gapping off by gapping up with breaking news. Okay. So, you know, following my strategies, following following the criteria I like uh, for me to allow myself to trade a stock, I wrote this stock into my watch list. Into the open, it was very strong. It was very strong because we had another leading gapper that was absolutely ripping. B beer, bear, whatever. B-A-E-R. -A uh, Bridger Aerospace Group. You know, when the, when the moment the market opened, this thing absolutely ripped into a halt. Then it resumed higher and it continued to go, you know, two points higher. Um, because of that, I started to look for sympathy plays. And the first stock that came to mind was TMBR because I believe that this at the time was the second leading gapper. And, you know, usually in the market here, you got to understand that everything works around with, you know, everybody follows a herd mentality. So if stocks are going up, it creates FOMO and everybody wants to buy everything. If stocks are tanking, if the market overall is weak, everything, everybody wants to sell everything and then hence everything drops. The moment I saw that this stock was super strong, I started to look for sympathy plays. And then I started to scalp this stock right here as it was pushing higher. I got myself green, 400 bucks on this sticker um, in this initial move. And then as classic Marcelo, I gave it all back on this flush. It's like, you know, this right here was looking prime for a breakout of 298. It was looking very strong. The other stock was also going absolutely crazy. And this, you know, was very close to higher day, which was 296 at the time. Pre-market high was 298. You know, those were two setups that I like combined into one. And then on top of that, three setups, because the, the, the breakout of three was very obvious as well. I was, you know, honing in for an anticipation trade for a break of three. You know, being long around two, 290s and then selling, selling somewhere around three, 310. Um, I get long, I get aggressive, I punch double share size because, you know, I'm in the zone, I just got a neat, I, I, I believe at this, at this time I had a nice big winning trade on TMBR, punch it, maybe 4,000 shares, and this thing just tanks. You know, 4,000 shares, I lose 10 cents, just like that, I was back to flat on the day. Whatever. Um, and then the bulk of the money I was able to, able to make it on this second leg up. On this consolidation, trading the range, and then on this final breakout that we got. That was absolutely crazy. Of course, I'm going to show you how that looked in the live trading archives at the end of the video. I'm going to show you some um, because, you know, I got to leave some for, I got to leave the entire archive for the MMU, MMU students. 
Um, what is MMU? You, you, you may be asking yourself, well, it is my premium service in which I teach you how to day trade. Um, check out the link down below. I, I believe it's the first link in the description. All right, but um, I'll talk a little bit about that later. So TMBR, you know, nice clean momentum at the open. It was unfortunate that I got caught on this flush. And then after that, we had a nice surge up, breakthrough VWAP. This was one setup. Again, as a setup that we teach in, in, in MMU, the breakthrough VWAP. And then I was just buying the dips against VWAP. Another setup, buy the dip at VWAP. You know, VWAP is that indicator that, that works as both support and resistance. Whenever you are above it, you may expect that if you come down to retest it, it's going to be acting as support. Whenever you're underneath it, you can expect that if we, if we ever come near it, it's probably going to act as resistance. Okay? Knowing that in mind, I, you know, once we cleared that level, I started to buy the dips at VWAP, at VWAP, at VWAP. And this thing was giving some nice bounces. Okay? So, you know, I, I got over, I don't know, maybe a thousand bucks on that. Um, and then I believe I took this both one minute pullbacks and then the rest I made it on these two long elongated uh, green candles. So look at this breakout right here. Look at the power in that breakout. Why is it this powerful? Because look at how many setups are aligning. It is the breakout of this pivot, right? 294. It is the breakout of high of day, which at the time was 296. And then it is the breakout of pre-market highs, 298. And then it is the breakout of the psychological level of three four setups and then fifth it is the resolution of this wedge you see right here super strong setup kind of like all the moons aligned there for a little for a little bit of course i jump in around 294 this thing rockets and i made like 500 bucks in like two seconds uh, lucas king what's up guys i appreciate it i hope you guys capitalize as well anybody watching live or in the comments let me know how you did on bear i want to know how you did on that because this thing was crazy and you know if you're one of the ones that fell behind on the red side it is absolutely understandable this thing was crazy man and and you know honestly whether you're green or red on this thing is such a fine line because it was so volatile that you shouldn't be too hard on yourself if you ended up on the red side on this but anyways the mbr does where the trades um, and then, and then, you know, after it, started fading, after it started fading off, I'm like, all right, it is time to walk away, lock in my $3,000 green day and live to another, another day. Now, beer, 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 guys, a dip and rip setup, a dip out of a halt. This thing doesn't disappoint. I don't 100% track my metrics on this specific setup as I track my metrics overall. So it's hard to say for me how, how what is my accuracy on this exact setup. But if I had to guess, it had to be around 80%. Let me actually pull up MMU, which is again, the first link down in the description. It is, um, you know, if you want to learn more, if you like the way I teach, if you know Relentless Trader, if you like the way he teaches, if you want to see me live trade every single day, my live trades, um, you know, check out this, check out this link. It's my, you know, full course in which we, we, we're going to take you guys from absolute beginners all the way to advanced day traders. As any other course out there, mine, I cannot guarantee, well, unlike any other, any, on any other course out there that guarantees you to become a millionaire, here I am realistic and, you know, we are 100% transparent and we are always going to give you guys the truth. If you take this course, it doesn't mean that you're going to become rich. It doesn't mean that you're going to have a $3,000 day. But it does mean that you're going to have the all the necessary tools for you to be in the best position to increase your probabilities of something like this happening, right? At the end of the day, life and, and whether if you make it as a trader or not is about studying, it's about uh, consuming a lot of live trading, and it's about you know doing everything in your favor so that you can be in a position that you can safely approach the market so that you don't lose a lot and so that you have a solid chance at making trading a full-time career this is the stuff we offer um weekly live trading lectures um you know which we're going to be live every week giving you guys classes we're going to offer our comprehensive com comprehensive course which is over 100 hours worth of content that's already recorded if you want to take a look at that um weekly q a sessions because of course there's some things that you're not you're not going to quite grasp right at the beginning and of course we're going to be there to answer any questions you have raw live trading archives which is you know here at the end of this recap, I'm going to show you a little bit of that. I'm going to show you maybe one or two trades. But as you can see, I took 180 orders. Orders mean how many times I buy, how many times I sell. Mind you that I usually buy twice and then sell twice. So, you know, 
I didn't take I didn't take 180 trades. Maybe I took around 50 trades. Here at the end of the recap, of course, because I want to keep the free, the, the good free high quality educational content out there. I'm going to show you a few trades, maybe one or two trades. But if you want to see every single day all my trades, this is the place to be. And also relentless trader trades, right? Another six figure tra trader and a good friend of mine. Um, of course, we're going to be provide, providing you with daily watch lists, which is, you know, which are us giving us these stickers. All right. It will be like, hey, uh, little Timmy, I feel like these two stickers here have a high potential of, of making big moves. All right. Live ultra low latency trading, exclusive content, and of course, access to our chat room. So the trade I'm going to show you here is our curriculum, by the way, uh, our curriculum. It, so this is it. This is the curriculum. The trade I'm going to show you here right now is actually called a dip out of a halt. It's trading around halts. Halts are, you know, whenever you see halts, we go in, de in depth here of what a halt is, the psychology behind a halt, what does it happen, what to do when you see a halt, all that. Uh, but essentially what halts are, they are a measurement of volatility in the markets. And the, the trade I'm going to show you just right now is this one right here. Again, this is a full chapter in which we teach all our strategies and you know how to position yourself so you have a good chance of profiting profiting off the patterns we see um, day in and day out. But where the hell is this? Fullback trade, flat up breakout, three bar play. Halt trades. There it is, halt trades. Um, we we got two classes in every single edge. RT style of trading halts, my styles of trading halts, where do we buy, where do we sell, and all that. So let me pull up my trading archives and take a look at that trade. I, have a, I had a nice massive winner on that today. Let's see. So so where is that? So, okay. So the trade is going to happen on this side of the monitor to take a look at this chart. I'm going to be trading ticker symbol bear. And what I'm essentially looking for is for a dip after a halt up. So a halt up means that the stock is very strong, probably means that shorts are underwater, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and I'm essentially looking for a dip. I want to see a strong resumption. And then I want to see if the first dip, that's the strategy. I jump in and, and, and let's see what happens. So let's see when this thing resumes. E Whoa, we okay. So we resume 1147. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So we resume 1150. Can we see a dip now? Where's the dip? There's a dip 1130s, 1120s. I jump in 2000 shares at 1125. Now watch what happens. We got an explosive move, almost a dollar share move. And look at that trade. Isn't that trade crazy? $1,200 in like three seconds. This is the power of understanding what the hell halts are and, you know, how to position yourself to increase your chances of, of you know, nailing a trade like this. Let's, let's take a look at that one more time. Okay. And by the way, of course, I provide a premium, a premium service in the description below in which I'm going to guide you how to exactly trade these setups but what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that regardless if you learn from me or from anybody else or from the or from you know screen recordings please learn somehow whether it is with me rt or anyone or by yourself if you want to be a successful small cap trader you gotta understand halts and you have to understand how to you know how stocks move out around halts and especially outside of halts let's take, let's take a look at this right now again i'm looking for a strong stock breaking news first halt up a lot of volume, and I want to see a higher resumption. Then after that, I want to see a dip. Watching level two, can, can I get a dip? Watching, there's a dip. I'm long 2,000 shares. Can we get a pop now? There's 12 on the ask, selling and selling the rest. Crazy gain. Crazy. Okay, and then of course it's not too soon. Look at that. Hmm. Sometimes. This is just insane. Like, this is just crazy. Sometimes looking back and looking back at this, I'm like, how did I end up here? 
Hmm. That is a crazy trade. Um, of course, I gotta say that, you know, even though I'm, I'm encouraging you guys to understand how trades move, how, how halts function, and how to trade around halts, I'm not by any means recommending you for you to trade them or like telling me telling you what to do you're accountable um for all for for your own decisions okay and of course there's no guarantee for success in anything in life but specifically in day trading because it is very hard and most beginner traders lose money and and my results are not typical so you know don't don't go crazy yesterday tomorrow or, or monday if you see a halt don't just slam 2000 shares most likely you're gonna lose if you don't know what you're doing so so you know hopefully you're in a simulator with very very small size um trying to trying to see how 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 trading's how trading around holds you know happen so all right and um because i'm in a good mood let's take a look at another trade today was a crazy day so this is definitely a live trading archive that hopefully a lot of mmu members can have fun watching but for you guys you know, of course, the OGs. I gotta give you. I gotta give you some good trades, at least, right? Let's see. This is good. This is a crazy one. Watch. The OGs. The OGs that were crying that everything that I provide here, my YouTube channel for free, was going, was was you know stopping. For you, I am not stopping. All the free content is here to stay forever. Okay, it's not gonna be as extent as the MMU, but you know, at the end of the day. I am, I am here to hopefully help you guys in your trading journey. So let's see. So what I was looking at here is, all right, so this thing broke on the Viva. It, after it came back to retest it, it didn't fade. Okay. So in this consolidation down here, what you can see is essentially a bear flag, a bear flag just under Viva. Okay. This traps a lot of, um, a lot of short sellers because they're looking for the move you know they're looking for the continuation move to the downside something like this to happen let me pull up my little drawing tool so they're looking for a bear flag and and they want something like this to happen right a continuation fade to the downside that is a classic bull flag setup you know the bull flag is just the, the inverse of a, of a no this is a bear flag which is the inverse of a bull flag and you know so when when, when a lot of people see, see this bull flag right bear flag jesus christ when a lot of people see this bear flag they get short right here within this consolidation and what do they want what do they want this what do they want the stock to do is for this stock to resolve to the downside to move down because remember if you're a short seller you make money when the stock goes down okay when that doesn't happen and then this green candle starts to curl up a lot of show, a lot of short sellers are trapped and when they're trapped they're forced to stop out how do they stop out they have to close the position what does that mean they have to cover what does that mean that's buying that creates buying volume okay and it sends the stock back up and again just on a higher day i thought again we were going to go here uh so i took a red trade but what i was looking at now is a double bottom so a double bottom setup so you know i had my levels drawn we teach how to draw levels in MMU, but okay that's enough that's enough so I have, my, I have my levels drawn, right? 277. 277 is is the low of this candle, and it's also the high of this candle. I don't know why I didn't draw all the way down over there, but um, I have my level mapped out. So now I was looking for a a little bit of a retest, a flush to that level. Watch. Can we see a flush? Can we see a dip? Um, can we see a dip somewhere near? this level watching 279 support can this thing dip down to 279 so it looks like okay it looks like i jumped in a little bit earlier thinking maybe this thing won't retest remember trading is not an exact science it's more of an art so sometimes levels are not tested to the penny so i felt like okay maybe this thing won't come back down to test 277 to the penny and maybe this is as low as it goes Right, so I jump in uh, 2,700 shares. I am up and realize 100 bucks, but then it starts to roll over on me. It starts to roll over, and I sell for a break-even trade. Okay, now the real trade comes in. Okay, now that this thing finally tested 277, I jump in 2,700 shares at 277. Right, I have my game plan, and now I'm just executing. 
I am in. I saw I saw a lot of green in the tape. I add double share size. Okay. Now there's 84 there on the ask. I sell half on the ask. There's 90. I sell more on the ask. Right? And then I believe, again, in my eyes, this thing should have ripped through high of day right here, but it didn't. Uh, so I think I'm going to add again somewhere in here, thinking that it is game time. We are about to fly through all those levels of resistance. And we don't. We don't. Uh, so I add and then I sell for like break even the rest. Okay, let's watch that one more time. All right, so I draw my levels. I create a game plan in my head. Now I just wait for, for my entry and then I execute. Watch. Okay, so I'm watching 277 support. Can I get an entry? There's a dip to 277. I jump in at 277, 2700 shares. As I see a lot of green on the tape, I double my position, okay? As I get some profit, I sell. I try to sell half on the ask. It gets picked up. I sell more 290, and just like that, I'm in the driver's seat on the nice trade. And then, you know, now that I have profit locked in, I can, I can be a little bit more nonchalant with my, uh, with my quarter position that I'm still holding. I can be like, okay, I can, this, I can give this quarter position more room to move around. And um, because my game plan was, okay, this thing probably is going to break the high day. So, you know, I'm going to give you more room and hold, 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 hold. It didn't go, so I just stopped out. And, um, you know, this is just an archive of, of me trading this all day. Look at this entry. I had an entry there, bottom tick, 249. 249 is 265 in the ask. That was a nice trade. Um, you know, if... I'll stop, I'll stop, I'm sorry. Marcel has, has become, in, has, has, has transformed into a salesman. But I'm just telling you guys, it's like, if, if you really want to, you know, exponentially increase the speed on how you navigate the learning curve, if you want to see the full live trading archives, check the link down below, okay? Just, just check the link down below. And um, for those of you guys that are not interested or do you feel like that is something you can't join right now, Totally understand. Your boy is not going anywhere. I'm here answering any questions you may have anyway. Um, in the comments or or in my Instagram. You can you can contact me on my Instagram if you have if you have any business inquiries, any trading questions, any shades questions, just slide into my DMs and I'm gonna with no problem answer you. We can have a chat, whatever. Um, leave a comment, I answer to hundred percent of my comments. Um, leave a like, of course, because Please leave a like. I mean, this this video here doesn't get any better. You get a you get a big PNL. You get some clean live trades. Okay, you get some clean shades. So please leave a like. Right, that's all I'm asking for. A like. Um. And um. Anyway, that that's it. That's it. That's it for the recap. Follow me on TikTok down below. Check out MMU. Uh, my, my premium course, which is a group of people I work with every day. Check my Instagram if you want to talk to me directly. Check my TikTok if you want to see funny trading content. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new, if you want to see daily stock market day trading videos. All right. Before I leave, I'll take a look at my live comments. Let's see. Home run day today. Yep, definitely home run day. Let us see. Mm -hmm. What's up, Ross? I'm not Ross. Not yet, at least. Um, there, I was green on that dip and rip, but went right on it. Managed to get nice feedback trades on TMPR. As I tell you, kept going nice bear traps. Just like you explained. Yep, that's good, Lucas. Yeah, Lucas, Lucas um, it's a member in the chat room. He, he had a nice recovery today. From red 600 to green 250, bro, that's a that's a win in my book. Definitely don't go back to red. King, what's up? Um, I like how you explain. You should have more than 100k subs. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for sharing this. It's gold, man. Keep it up. You got it, Lucas. Devin, hit the like. Hit the like. It, it costs you nada. Zero. And if you hit the like, 
I'm, 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 well, I'm not that. Yeah, uh, maybe another video. And another video. Uh, thank you for sharing this. I appreciate it. Mighty, when the stock is going strong, you sell strength on the ask plus some offset. And when it's going down, bail out, hitting the market. Bailing out, I always hit market orders. Selling on the ask, I just do sell on the ask. I should, I honestly, I should have a hard key with sell on the ask plus five cents. Um, but I don't. I just sell the ask. What's the what's the DAS you use? So I use DAS Trader Pro, um, which is you know the level two, the level two you 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 saw in my live trading. It's one hundred fifty dollars a month, and you can connect it to your TD Ameritrade broker. Are you only executing off of DAS? Man, you don't give up, do you? It's like how many times have you asked me this question, bro? Like. <laughs> Yes, I am executing over DAS. Why do you like DAS level 2 better? Because it's faster and... First, because it's faster. Second, because really I just got used to that. I learned in a DAS trading simulator. So I just got used to that that DAS level 2. And then, and then, the, and then the level 2 on Tinker Sim is just... I don't know. It's just... In my opinion, slow. It looks horrible. I don't know. But I definitely know some profitable traders using this thing and they can make it work, so that's no excuse. He uses the 150 sub and tells Daz you want to trade options to work, but that's correct. What subscription level do, you, do I use? I use that one right there, that Sir Clive just kindly share. Oh, yeah, at first I thought that if you traded through Daz, the executions, the, kind of like the routing servers were going to be different. But I called the customer service and if you trade through DAS or through TD, the executions should be the exact same. Um, and in my experience, they have been the same so far. DAS is still not perfect. Sometimes it lags and it screws me over, but the hotkeys definitely make, make it worth it. Anyways, it's been the Mighty. It's been the Shades. Leave a like. Check the links down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.